What's up, guys? What's on the agenda this week? Beef jerky, but with a twist. <laughs> beef jerky. I like regular beef jerky, but I'm kind of tired of the teriyaki pineapple flavor that a lot of the jerkies have. And sometimes it's really just spicy to be spicy. But today we're going to make a horseradish based marinated beef jerky. I buy the beef at Walmart pre-sliced. Easy peasy to do. Only a few ingredients. You might have it minus the horseradish. Everything in your uh, pantry. Let's whip it up, get it going. Don't forget to hit subscribe. All right, guys, we're gonna make our marinade. So first of all, we'll start out with one third of a cup of white, of white vinegar. Not this apple cider, but white vinegar. We're gonna to add to that, we're gonna add a teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of black pepper, about a half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, and then about a half a teaspoon of garlic. Throw that in. Now here's the good stuff. This is prepared horseradish. So we're gonna put Let's see. About two tablespoons. I'll stop with two. Two. I don't want to use all my horseradish. Okay. We're gonna mix all of this together. Okay. Now. I have one pound of thinly sliced bottom round. I actually got this at Walmart pre-sliced. makes life so much easier. If you don't buy it pre-sliced, you can buy a roast, kind of stick it in the freezer, let it get semi-hard and slice it thin. But look, when you can go to the Walmart and buy this, just do that. So much easier. So you want to spread them flat. You want to make sure the marinade coats every single piece. I don't know if Walmart does that for jerky or not, but it's awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear the fireworks. It's, it's New Year's Eve and fireworks are going crazy in Baton Rouge. All right, so once you get all of that coated, I just slush it around like that, just make sure it's good. So we're gonna put this in the fridge until tomorrow. So overnight, 12 to 24 hours, we're gonna let that marinate. All right. By the way, I got these Pyrex storage dishes they're called glass lock. I got them at Sam's for like 20 bucks. So cool. They, they really seal well, but they're glass and they don't pick up odors or stains. We're gonna get this started by putting down some wax paper. It just prevents a lot of mess because this stuff drips as you set up the tray. If you've never used a dehydrator, you have the base of the unit, this one's older, and it's got the heating element and a fan and a temperature gauge. Some of them don't have temperature gauges. This is the outer covering, the top covering, and then you have the trays like this that set on top, all right? So for now, we're just gonna set the bottom to the side and the top to the side. And we're gonna focus on each tray. So we have a marinated beef from last night. I'm just gonna open that. That's what you have. Now, pull out a piece of beef. Like this one's connected, just rip it apart. And you wanna lay that flat, completely flat. Make sure that it's not, no folds or anything like that. Just like that. 
small piece like that. If there's a piece of fat, I'll just rip that off. Okay, and you're gonna to continue to do this until you use up all the meat that you've marinated. That one's not gonna pull hold tight. I'm just gonna use kitchen shears to trim off that fat. These are that's actually a huge piece. Let's cut that in half. Alright, next tray, right on top. It locks in like that. And I used to try to stack them so tight, and then I would have leftover room. So it's easier just kind of spread stuff out. Unless you're doing a ton of jerky. Little piece right there, cut, cut that off. Make sure those edges are not folded up. Okay, chunks of fat right there. Next level. You could cut it in strips too. I don't see it. Makes a difference. That horseradish smells so good on this. This is the last tray. Like I said, we're gonna have tons of room. Cause that's the last piece of beef. All right. Let me wash up and clean up us for a sec. Right, so we will take our base like that. These trays will set on the base and they all kind of snap into place. You can put your lid on just like that. Everything's closed. And I'll tell you a secret, this thing's loud. It, it's really annoying the fan running. You can set it in another room or something, but the beef jerky can smell kind of strong in the house. I do it in the garage. I stick it outside, let it run for four hours, then bring it back in the house. All right guys, so I checked on the jerky at three hours. It's actually done. So I brought it in from the garage, which smells like horseradish. We're gonna open it up and you can see the jerky is done. It's still a little pliable. It's not crunchy. Yeah, perfect. All the levels look good. So we're gonna take this out of the dehydrator. All right, you can see what it looks like kind of flexible, very nice. So I'm just gonna transfer these into a bowl for now. Oh, good. So 
sometimes this thing gets a lot of grossness on it, none on this trip. So that is our bowl of jerky. Let's taste it. All right. Smell horseradish. Mmm. The horseradish radish comes through, but it's not overpowering. The vinegar gives it a little sourness. Mmm. If you've ever had prime rib with horseradish sauce, it's what it's taken me to. That's really good. Not your typical beef jerky, but delicious. Give it a try and tell me what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Love to have you all as subscribers. Thanks for watching. You guys have a safe week out there, and we'll see you next week.